Hello friends, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. The topic for this video is handling the drop down. So, uh, how can we handle the drop down? Drop down we can handle by using select class. And in this video, we will work on this website. So, this website is this one here. And uh, if we scroll down we can see the drop down option there and here the drop down is given for the continents and for the continents in drop down we can find the seven options so today we will learn how to handle these drop downs if we want to enter a drop down value of Africa how we can enter here or if we want to get all get print all the continents how can we print them and or if we want to get the size of the drop down how can we uh, get the uh, size of that uh, those web elements as a present in this drop down so uh, this uh, init method is uh, generated as I have already mentioned in previous video so I will not uh, uh, be going in the detailing of this and let's start with the further thing so uh, first of all let's start our driver dot find element and uh, we will do driver dot find element by dot xpath by dot xpath and here we need to give the xpath and if we want to save this uh, let's save it as in uh, we have to save it in web element element and uh, uh, let's import this web element oh sorry I think it should be capital one and let's import it import the web element and here we need to give the name that which uh, drop down web element it is so here it is continent so let's copy this continent from here and we can say continents drop down uh, we can say continents drop down and <coughs> element it is element elements equals to this so we have to give in the X path of that one. Let's do here control shift C. So we can go to find the X path of this one. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this is the under select tag and uh, we can use the ID and continent. So let's copy the value for the ID and uh, we can do control F here. So double slash and then we can use select select and the square brackets and inside the square bracket we can do add rate id equals to put the value for the id that was continent so it is one of one so our x path is good we can copy this from here once we copied here then we can paste it here right and uh, just put the semicolon so our coding is good up to here save it and next thing that we want to do for the drop down is that we need to uh, use the select class so what we will be doing select select and uh, instance we were creating that cell basically and new equals to new select and here we, we need to pass some argument in this one so let's first what we need to do we just will import it let's import it after importing that this will ask if we hover over this is asking us the argument so which argument we need to pass we need to pass the web element and here the example of web element what we have we do have only the continent drop down element so this is the perfect one to feed here and now what we will do we will do cell dot there are many methods for this uh, uh, for this uh, select class and when we use cell dot we can find all the options like uh, deselect uh, get options and select select by visibility and all that so let's start by uh, this one select by visible uh, text so let's choose it so once we use this one what we need to do we need to pass a string over there so what is the value which one we want to pass so here we can see there are multiple options uh, continent is here and we have multiple options like Asia Europe Africa Australia this 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 so let's select this Australia let's copy and what we want to enter over there uh, we want to enter Australia in, the, in that option particularly so let's save the coding and execute it run as test ng so see it has entered Australia over there 
so our code is good so we can manually close this one and let's this uh, just comment this out what next we have we do have cell dot uh, get uh, cell dot select by we do have other options select by visible text select select we can use select by index also select by index let's use this select by index so for the 0 1 we do have Asia already so let's select 2 uh, if we use select 2 and execute it so what should be the option over there for select 2 the option should be if we see here let's see in this website and so what will be the option for 2 uh, 0 1 2 Africa should be entered over there because indexing will start from 0 so Asia will be at 0 position Europe is 1 Africa is 2 Australia is 3 South Africa 4 like that so let's go back here and it's pass uh, it's pass and no fail so what it entered see it has entered Africa so let's close this one and if we want to use number one so we can just change it here and execute so this time Africa will not be there there will be another entry let's execute and see see Europe it has entered Europe so that's how by using select by visibility or select by index we can just enter the value that we want to enter over there now another thing come that uh, what if we want to uh, know the size what uh, like uh, the size of uh, how many ele web elements are present uh, in our uh, in our drop down what how to uh, how to se uh, select those how to get the size that how many uh, options are present in our drop down for that we need to save it uh, save uh, all of our web elements in a list so how to create a list first of all so we will uh, we will create a list like that oh uh, okay uh, here we will do list and inside the angular uh, brackets we can write down web elements element web element because uh, what we need to save is we need to save the list of the web element that's why we entered uh, we have put in the web, uh, web element inside the angular bracket now this list we need to import but before that let's go uh, what we want we want just elements so we can use elements equals to and then cell dot the method that we can uh, use basically here is get options so let's find out that one so here we do have the get options and the argument that we can pass over here is uh, uh, for the where we can save it is web element so let's select this option and then what can we do we just need to import it let's import list and after that what we want we just want to see so and in this is so we want to uh, if we want to get the size so what we will do elements let's select this dot size we simply can use this and what we need to do save and execute run as test ng so it should have given us some options it has passed let's see the console what it is there so see it has given us seven number so a uh, total continent number it has given us seven so that's how we can get the number of uh, elements as are that are present in our drop down so next thing is this is this one is for the uh, to get the length uh, get the length uh, length of the web elements and uh, one uh, another thing that we want to do today is uh, how to print uh, each continent one by one printing uh, printing each element one by one so how to print it uh, that for that we can use loop so uh, let's start and here we can use uh, we can start with for loop 
and for the for loop we need the this coding and here what we need to enter just make it like that and here we will start with int let's say our int is i and the index that we will start here will be 0 and another thing i will be uh, lesser than okay i will be lesser than element dot size we can put it here element dot size we can do and then after that oh here we need to use the semicolon not the comma size here again and then we can do i plus plus because we want in incremental order so we can do i plus plus and next will be our CISO again CISO and what we want again we have to put that elements uh, this let's see the options elements we have here elements dot and now we have to get i first so we use get and we have to pass the index in the argument so we just select this and i is automatic selected and another thing that we will use dot get text because only the good, uh, dot get text method will give us the uh, web element in uh, form of string so this is the for loop that we have used and now let's save it and execute it and let's see if it will pass or fail so we have executed it okay let's go back yeah it has already run so we can see see there are seven seven continents and it has given us the list of that one so by using the dot size method we can uh, get the uh, get, get the uh, length of the web elements and for getting the list we need to use the for loop so i hope you would like you uh, would like this video and uh, you uh, get the clearance about the topic that how we can get the list for the web elements and how a select class can help us to get the uh, to get enter the uh, particular uh, particular drop down in our uh, in our drop down uh, options for this uh, by using this uh, selenium java so i hope you like this video thank you guys thank you very much for watching please do like share and subscribe